the formidable robot. When you think about the name Kenan Spencer, what comes to mind? In the realm of Canadian television, shows can often veer into the territory of unsettling, or they can surprisingly resonate with us in a way that defies expectations. They tend to tread a fine line between disturbing and strangely relatable, revealing the complexities of Canadian culture and humor that can leave viewers both puzzled and entertained. It was 2000, I was watching some comedy TV when Kevin Spencer premiered. Yes, about his lost twin, but the way it ended happened horribly. When Kevin was done crying, it zoomed in Kevin's face and his eyes became threateningly widened, bloodshot and full of rage. And then he picked up a knife, everything went black. I could hear him killing Percy and Anesthesia, a huge, what the fuck, but a bit inaccurate to be canon, but overall WTF. Then it glitched with Kevin's shocked face, along with scrolling text, I did it, then pitch black again. Then it shows Percy mangled and eyeless, the same goes to Anesthesia. Then cuts to Kevin's back and all of a sudden, he turned back with his nightmare fuel grin. Finally, it cut to a blurry image of what may seem Spencer in front of two gravestones, presumably Kevin's parents, the episode ended. In the aftermath, I couldn't shake off the haunting imagery and the bizarre portrayal of violence. Driven by a mix of curiosity and disbelief, I decided to reach out to the creator of the show. I recounted the dismal journey I had taken through that episode, and to my surprise, he revealed the truth behind it all. He told me that it was meant for a Halloween special but was scrapped, it wasn't meant to be aired but someone in the KS crew put it on air, so they fired him. However, the lingering question remained. Was it truly an accident, or was there more to the story? A whirlwind of thoughts swirled in my mind, leaving me desperate for answers about the bizarre chilling experience that watching that episode of Kevin Spencer had become.